Hi, welcome to Mad English TV. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know for doing laundry. Okay? Now here we have some washing machines. This is called a front-loaded washing machine, and this is called a top-loaded washing machine. Now this is called a dryer. All dryers are front-loaded. Okay? Now, to do your laundry, you're going to need some laundry detergent. The word detergent means soap. Okay, now you have two options. You can buy liquid detergent or you can buy powder detergent. Personally, I use liquid detergent. Okay, now some people also use fabric softener and dryer sheets. Fabric softener is something you put into the washing machine to make your clothes more soft. I don't know, I never use it. And some people also use dryer sheets. You put a dryer sheet into the dryer to make your clothes smell nicer. I guess, I don't know, I don't use dryer sheets either. Okay, now if you're drinking coffee and you spill some on your shirt, that's called a stain. So you're going to need some stain remover. Okay, now a washing machine has three cycles. Wash, rinse, and spin. So wash means it washes your clothes with water and detergent. And rinse means it just rinses it with water. And then spin means it dries your clothes out. Okay, now every washing machine is different. So it can be very confusing but most washing machines have a dial and buttons. Okay, so you turn the dial and you select which cycle you want and you can press some buttons and when you're ready, you press start. Okay, so let's imagine we're going to do a normal load of laundry. So we turn this dial to normal and then we hit start, right? If you want to choose one of these extra features, you can, like maybe you want an extra spin, you want your clothes really dry, or you want an extra rinse, you want to wash all the soap out of your clothes, okay, then you can choose one of these and press start. Okay, now deep steam, I'm not sure what this is, my washing machine doesn't have this, but steam is this, this is called steam, okay. Uh, now eco cold. Anytime you see the word eco, that means it's going to save you electricity, okay? Now, quick wash means if you want your clothes to wash very quick, maybe 20 minutes or 30 minutes. And perm press. Now, you might choose this option if your clothes have lots of wrinkles, okay? These are called wrinkles. Also, your grandma probably has wrinkles on her face. Okay, so the next option is wool. Now wool is the kind of material made from a sheep's hair. Okay, that's called wool. And the next one is delicates. Now delicates means anything that's going to get damaged easily. Like let's say you have a nice sweater and you don't want it to get damaged then you might want to choose this option. It means it's going to wash it very gently. Okay, now active wear, that means sports clothes. And over there we have rinse and spin. So after washing your clothes, if they're still a little bit soapy, then you might want to put them back in the washing machine and choose rinse and spin. It's going to wash them with water and then spin it. Okay. And the next one is allergen. Now, I'm not really sure what that means. Maybe if you have allergies to something, that's going to help you. I'm not sure, my washing machine doesn't have that. And also, the sanitize feature. Sanitize means to kill germs. So maybe if you're sick and you're sneezing a lot, chew, and you get some germs on your clothes, sanitize will kill the germs. I'm not sure. My washing machine doesn't have that either. Okay, whites, that just means any clothes that are white. And bedding, now that means like sheets, 
blankets, pillowcases. Now, if your clothes are really dirty, you might want to choose heavy duty. That's going to give your clothes a really good wash. So after you wash your clothes, you need to dry them. Now, most dryers have three cycles, auto dry, time to dry, and delicate. If you choose auto dry, that means the machine is going to decide when your clothes are dry. Okay, you can choose more dry or less dry. And if you want to decide yourself, okay, then you can choose how many minutes you want it to dry for. We have 10 minutes all the way up to 100 minutes. Now, delicate means if your clothes will get damaged easily. If you've got a nice sweater or a nice shirt or a nice pair of pants, you might want to choose delicate. That's going to dry it with lower heat. Okay, so after you finished drying your clothes, you might want to iron them. This is called an iron, and this is called an ironing board, right? So after you finish ironing them, then you need to hang up your clothes. So this is called a hanger, okay? And some clothes you probably won't hang, some clothes you're going to fold, right? So these are called folded clothes, and these clothes are unfolded. Personally, I hate folding clothes. What about you? Do you like it? So I want you to tell me, which do you hate more? Do you hate ironing more or folding clothes? Personally, I hate both of them. But I want to know what you think. Let me know your answer in the comments right down there, and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.